What's up everyone, welcome back. Oh boy, we got a good one today. Make sure you're subscribed if you love guns, if you love America. We have some fun here. So I'm not sure how long ago this was, but a Medal of Honor recipient, his name is Dakota Meyer, took to Instagram and put this video out here. I see all these people out there like wearing camo, acting like they're fucking operators on ranges. It's like fucking Halloween for you every time you fucking post on Instagram, right? Now look, Dakota, I know you're gonna see this. So I wanna say, to start, that I really should fuck with you on this video for what you said to the entire Second Amendment community, but I'm not going to. I do, however, think that you need to be called out for continuing the same talk. Like, cause I, I do wanna get this, right? Like. Guys who yeah. train to protect their own home, they ain't equal to the cops in the military who go and serve their country. And I'm going to tell you the difference. It's been over a year since you went to Instagram and everybody crapped on you because of it. So recently some comments were made by a couple individuals about wearing a plate carrier and shooting kit and that type of thing. Well, you have rights, not just rights that are guaranteed in the Constitution, but rather rights that are inherent, they're God-given. If you don't believe in a God, then they are natural and typical of the animal kingdom. Those, of course, are the right to self-defense. So continue to wear your plate carrier, continue to shoot with your rifle, and if you are perceived as being an operator online, it means you're trained to a pretty high level, so keep doing you kings. Here is what I think, and this is what I truly believe, and I believe that you can't really argue with this, and this is something that I would hope that you would adopt. You're trying to put off this persona that you're something that you're fucking not. And, um, yeah, I mean, here's the best way to gauge it. It's training for the fight. If you personally see somebody in tactical gear, how do you know that they aren't training for the end of the world? How do you know that they aren't training for China to invade us? How do you know that they're not training for some kind of civil unrest? You don't. You're assuming. And you know what that makes all of us. Now, that being said, I don't agree going to the range in full kit every single time. Why? Because civilians, we really have just a few type of things that we can prepare for. It's a home invasion. It's just someone running up on us with a gun in downtown somewhere, road rage. And like we just talked about, something extreme. So when I go to the range most of the time, I'm not in kit. I got an AR mag in my back pocket. I got concealed carry and I'm training that way. But at the same time, if you don't know how to use kit in a situation like that comes up, you're screwed. It's kind of like going to the grocery store and only buying one bottle of water. What happens if tomorrow something happens and there is no more water? You're done, you're screwed. There's nothing wrong with being the best asset you can be to your family, to your friends, to your community. I also wanna say that I have a deep respect for what you did, for what you've done. Your story that earned you that Medal of Honor, it's outrageous and it is pretty much one of the coolest things that I've ever heard. But just because I think that your bravery in a certain situation was great, doesn't mean that I'm gonna just let everything else fly by. Neither should the rest of America because this is America. This is not China. This is not a country where only the military can have guns or can have camera or can look tactical. If you really want something like that, if you really want to be able to talk to the citizens of a country like that, go to North Korea, bro. You will fit in way better there with the stuff that you were saying. Well, only we can have guns, and and if you didn't serve, then then you you just you don't don't even own stuff. Stop, dude. All we are on the topic of America. It is more important than ever for men to be men. That is why I have partnered with Black Force Supplements. What we have here is their Testo Stack. Turkesterone, Sistance with Tungkat Ali, has completely optimized my testosterone levels without putting the crap in your body like TRT. In fact, my testosterone levels have gone up higher than my doctor said they would have with TRT. So pretty ridiculous results for a natural supplement. At the end of the day, I wanna have energy throughout the day. I wanna be optimized as far as my testosterone hormones go. And I think every man in America should feel the same way. So they're giving you a major discount on this stack. We got a discount code below the video. Go grab your stack, get everything optimized. That being said, let's get into what Dakota has to say, unfortunately. Like, cause I, I do want to get this right. Like guys who yeah. train to protect their own home, they ain't equal to the cops 
in the military who go and serve their country. And I'm going to tell you the difference. Did you just say that? I mean, do we really have to do a history lesson here on what equality means? We'll wait. The guys who, they might be better. Look, I, I like, look, there is no doubt I watch videos of guys who are, I don't know what that one kid's name is, but him running down the range, like, of course, I, dude, he could outshoot me all day long. He could outshoot most of us. But here's the difference. They train to protect their own homes. Cops go out to protect others. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, once again, I am really, really trying hard not to completely crap on you. But dude, somebody has brainwashed you beyond belief. When you say that people on the range are not equal to cops or military guys, civilians, because they're going out to train to protect their homes. Do you think that when I carry this in public, right? So if a mass shooter walked into a grocery store, I'm saying, well, as long as he doesn't point his gun at me, I'm just gonna stay in the frozen food section, right next to the waffles and right next to the people who don't believe in the second amendment. No, I'm pulling my gun out. I'm finding a good spot and I'm taking his head off. I'm not waiting for the police to show up. Everyone's gonna be dead, including me. That's why I encourage everyone to carry guns. It's about protecting the old lady in the grocery store when somebody comes in to rob the place. That's what it's about. But there's more. This and this is my statement because I, I, got, I got the transcript right here. Um, and I believe this. And, and I think this is why so many people got, got fired up. If you've never had to kiss your family goodbye, wondering if you're gonna come home to them, quit trying to make up for it in the latter years. You didn't serve, you didn't do it, good on you. It doesn't matter, it, you're right. You ain't tell you what frustrates me is all these people wanna put all this time and effort in to train and they are so qualified, probably more qualified than most of these men and women who are out here with the badge on the streets. But you wanna know, but you wanna know, go a little bit further where my problem with it is? then why don't they put the uniform on and go serve? Why would they want to be in a military or serve as a police officer in the United States when Biden is in office? When the ATF is at an all-time high as far as what they're trying to do to disarm the law-abiding American? Why? Do they want to be a Fed? I mean... I guess some people do. And that's kind of the feel that I get from you. You're talking like a Fed. You're talking like, well, I served and I did this so I can have a gun and I can wear tactical stuff. But you're a civilian, so you can't. Look, at the end of the day, you're going to get on your podcast and say what you're going to say. It's very sad to see because you don't understand. Clearly, you don't understand what America is. You don't understand what Americans believe in. A lot of people, a lot of people want to support you. A lot of people look up to you, but when you open your mouth, it all goes away. Everyone's like, oh my God, wow. I can't even listen to this guy. I'm a civilian. It's weird for me to go train and, and to be able to defend myself. Pick another topic, man. You are in the wrong country to be even mentioning this stuff. Look at our constitution, read it over again. And my God, whoever is in your team, whoever's in your inner circle, they need to sit you down and say, look, stop talking about this.